Views are a very important part of Toolset. It's how you display a list of content. For example, we can list out all of our posts by title only. Or by title, excerpt, and with a thumbnail picture. In these gym posts, there's also ratings and categories, so let's display them as well. All of these options are controlled by a toolset view, which is a tool for telling your web page what information to dynamically display. And it's also the visual design of how to display it. It's a lot like creating a template to pull up information and show it, except a view can then loop through a lot of information, sort it out, and display only what you filter for. So with a toolset view, you not only choose what information to display, but you can configure how to display it. For example, let's show this list in a grid. Creating this page will be the goal of this video tutorial. Okay, let's actually create our own view and see how it works. First, let's start a new page or post. We'll give it a name. And then we'll add a block. Scroll down to where all the toolset blocks are and pick a view block. A box will come up and ask us a few questions. The first screen asks us if we want to create a new view or are we going to use one that already exists. In this case, we're making a new one from scratch, so we'll give it a name and click Create. The second screen has two sections. The upper section asks us if we want our list of results to be paginated. This is helpful if we have a large amount of items to show. Perhaps you'll want them on many pages, which can have page numbers or several other ways to display a large list. Front-end sorting lets the user of the site sort the results in several different ways. And search adds in full searching and filtering to the list. So for example, on a real estate site, a user can look for homes by location, price, or size. The lower section of this screen is asking how we want to visually display the results. As a grid, masonry, collage, table, unordered list, ordered list, or unformatted. Now, here's the big trick. You don't need to decide any of this stuff now, because all of these options can also be changed later. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as it was originally and click Next. The third screen is Smart. It looks at all the content that has been created on this website so far and gives us a list to choose from. So let's say this was a blogging site. I might be creating a view to display all of my posts, assuming the posts were written blog articles. Or maybe I want to display all gyms and all trainers in one big list. I could check both of these. But in this case, I only want to show gyms, so we'll only select that and hit Next. Okay, we've just created our first view. I mean, it's blank right now and doesn't do anything, but quickly, let's review what we did so far. We chose a page or post to put the view on. In this case, a page. We chose a WordPress block to put it on and named it. Then we stepped through some options, most of which we didn't even bother selecting yet, since we can also change these options later. But we are going to display gyms, which is a post type. If you don't know what post types are, they're just like posts, but ones that you can make yourself. So in addition to posts, you can have gyms and personal trainers. There are other tutorial videos that teach you how to create post types. Okay, so now we have this block with an empty view loop. Let's start displaying the title of each gym. In a normal WordPress situation, we'd add block, heading, and as we type a title, this is what happens. As you can see, it displays the same title again and again. It's pretty useless if we want to display a whole list of posts. What we need is a dynamic way to load each post's title individually. So let's add a block. And instead of using the WordPress heading, choose a toolset heading block. On the sidebar, we see that there are some properties we can adjust. 
First off, we want to switch on dynamic heading text. Otherwise, what we're about to do would just be static, as the normal WordPress heading was. Some contextual options will appear. We're going to keep the post source as current post. Now, I know that can be confusing, because you might be thinking that the entire page we're on is the current source, but it's not. We're creating a loop that pulls in various Jim posts. So it's going to get the title from the current post in the loop. That's the actual source. Underneath that, we get to choose which field in this current post that will load in and display. And an option close to the top of this list is post title. That's exactly what we want to display. So we'll select it and there you go. You see the beginnings of a bunch of posts laid out in a three column grid, each loading in the post's title automatically. We don't need that static title anymore since it didn't work for us. So let's go and delete it. Highlight it, go to the three dots, and remove block. Wait a moment and WordPress will update. So right now this might look a little confusing on the screen. Let's save what we have so far and take a look at the page on the front end of the site. Okay, a little cleaner, but it's still very basic, so let's add a picture. Returning to the edit screen, let's add a block under our title and choose the toolset image block. It's asking us if we want a dynamic source, so we'll say yes. And just like the title we did, we'll keep the post source as the current post. Now, normally, you'd think that the source would be the post's featured image. It just so happens in this case, these gyms are using a custom field for their images. So we'll set the source to field group for gyms which opens up a contextual option because there are two fields for gym images, the main gym photo and the gallery photos. We'll choose the main one for this display. And there you go. After a second, we see all the images from each individual post dynamically load in. Okay, let me stop here for a moment because I'm sure you're getting lost and thinking, how will I ever know which options to choose? But that's only because you're watching me create a view from a site you've never seen before. When you build your own website, you'll know where you put everything and how you named it. So when you get to this stage, you'll know that, for example, you put your main image in the featured image field or a field called gym photo. It could be in either one. But that's the beauty of Toolset. You can use your own logic and put things wherever you want to. Okay, back to our project. Let's update and take a look at it on the front of the site. See, it's a lot more understandable now that we added the images in there. Let's go back and add some text to this. I think we can move faster now that you're getting a feel for what we're doing. Let's add another block. We're going to load in multiple lines of text, but they're all going to be coming from one field, the regular WordPress body text. So let's choose Toolset Single Field. On the sidebar, it's a standard WordPress field. Current Post. And the Post field is the Post Content Body. But we don't want to have the entire article's worth of text. We only want an excerpt of text. So let's choose the one below called Post Excerpt. It defaults to a length of 30 words, which is fine for us. It just so happens that a rating was applied to each gym, so let's show that in our view. Add block, toolset star rating. Make it dynamic. Source. It's coming from the field group for gyms, which, again, was a group of extra custom made fields that were created just for this gym post type. Okay, back to our project. The field we'll pull in is called Rating. And quickly note that there are all sorts of options for the star ratings below, including the amount of stars or completely changed to different shapes and characters. Now, some gyms specialize in yoga, some in weight training, or other things. Let's display each gym's specialties, which are saved as a taxonomy called gym types. 
Now, the word taxonomy can be confusing. In normal WordPress posts, there's a taxonomy called categories. In our gym post type, we have a taxonomy called gym types. So taxonomies are categories. We can create as many of them as we want and call them different names. Okay, again, add a block, single field, sidebar, this time choose taxonomy. In this case, there's only one, so gym types is already selected. And voila, we see them on each post. Let's save and check the front end. You now know how to create a view and add elements to it. In other videos, we're going to talk about visually designing your view and how to style it to look even better.